Well, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you may be across this beautiful blue-green globe of ours. Welcome to Real News Live. I'm your host, Mike Barrett in Seattle, Washington, joined as I am every Monday and Wednesday by the lady with the lustrous, the lovely lady with the lustrous hair, Jennifer Fala Dorian in Hayden, Idaho. Jen, Jen, how are you this beautiful Wednesday morning where I'm going to get a new couch delivered? Oh, that's always nice. Electric, yeah. Electric recliner, so I can me and Dave can just. Back. I need new everything, and so I'm I'm waiting for that. But yeah. doing good today. The yeah, sun is know, out, and that's a good thing. Yeah, it was it was kind of um, kind of uh, like, do we buy this before we move, or do we buy it after we move? And we really needed it before we move because the couch, the, the one we had, is broken, and it's just so uncomfortable to just bolt right straight up like this all the time. And they don't last like they used to. No, well, this one lasted almost ten years. So Ken M is here from Costco, like I did. <laughs> yeah, like well, I, I tried to order one from Costco, but they refused to deliver it. They said they couldn't get it down the stairs, and I'm like, we'll just wait and see if these guys can get a similar one down the stairs. You know, I, I, I don't know. I, I never bought that. I thought it was, oh, we can't get it down without tearing it. And I'm like, yeah, sure. Um, okay, hi everybody. Hi, Stan's here. Christine Packer's here. Hope you're feeling better. I am feeling better this morning. I'm not feeling great. Had a really bad stomach thing. You know, I just, Jen, I got to cut the sugar out of my life as best I can. I really do. I had to because of the the stomach issues and everything, and I yeah. feel so much better. Yeah, you know, I mean, uh, something triggered me last night. Maybe it was the Oreo ice cream sandwich, but it's just a little thing. It's like that big. But Yeah, cookies are the worst for me. They just yeah. really upset my stomach. Um, So, I, you know, I don't know. I, I know I have a problem with white dairy that makes me feel like this, and I uh, I, you know, just had a lot of things. And Jen, I know you worked on me a little bit last night. I truly appreciate that. I Medicine finally kicked in. I have some anti-nausea medicine called Zofran, which if you have problems with nausea, get your doctor to prescribe it because it's amazing stuff. But it takes almost an hour to really start working. So it's pretty, I had a pretty rough night. Let's put it that way. I went to bed by 9.15 and it absolutely sucked. Thank you for asking. Vertigo is usually some inflammation in here and Jen told me also that I have a sinus infection again that I have to deal with. So. Chronic sinusitis. Chronic. Well, maybe that will yeah. maybe that will fix itself um, when I move to Vegas. I don't know. I hope so in a drier climate. Uh, no, you didn't miss it. Uh, Phil's got a live coming today. Hopefully, there's some information. I didn't think his last live was very good. I I didn't find that there was a lot of information. It's just a lot of speculation. So. Um, we shall see. He's just saying hi, Dr. Jekyll, Stephen Leister, Laurie Bakemeyer. Mike Mick is here. How are you? And, of course, Ron Davidoff with the wrench. He's got the wrench in hand. Uh, Rick Norman's here. Victoria Adams, thanks again, Victoria. Yeah, I don't usually post that stuff on, on um, uh, Telegram. But I just decided, like, wow, I need some, I need some loving prayers to help me through this. And of course, my kitty Aurora, or not Aurora, that's, that's Aurora. She's gone almost a year now. Miss Fluffy Muffy took very good care of me as well. So, um, nothing like a little bitty kitty Fluffy thing purring and making you feel better. All right, uh, Chris Iverson, the Batman, likes the smell of victory in the morning. That overwhelms the stench of bullshit. Yeah. It's a lot of bullshit out there right now. And, uh, <laughs> okay, that's a bad transition. And in terms of the bullshit being put out by the deep state, guess what? We have a special prize for you. I'm sorry, I'm just trying to get through all the hellos, uh, you know, everybody here. Uh, we have a special surprise for you today. We have some Wednesday Gentel. Do we not have some Wednesday Gentel about what's going on? And I think we'll just move right into that, unless you have something you want to highlight, Jen, from um, from uh, overnight or the last couple of days. Well, we've had a lot of Gentel confirms already mm -hmm. from Monday's Gentel and previous Gentels. Um, but today I was just really like, just give me the dates. I need it, you know, please. I need it now. So grain of salt. And I was told when someone asked me, someone else asked me yesterday, um, when it was coming, 80%. Okay. Yeah, because, 80% because on that. As of this moment in time, there is a 20% that they are watching who are trying to sabotage it still to this day. Right. Okay. 
<laughs> which I think is what the whole Russian coup thing was about. Before you go on, just just you know, sometimes guys, you can force information from the higher ups if you if you push it or don't ask the question the right way. So Jen's always super cautious about that. So let's see. Yeah, totally personally involved here. Um, but <laughs> yeah, a little bit. Um, when I most of the time, if I really really need something, they give it to me. And I have to trust that. So I went in and um, interesting dress today. Why am I so short? Okay. I don't know. I hate this computer. Anyway, um, interesting dress. It was like, it was like iridescent with all the spec, the colors that are in the spectrum of light. And I looked down and I'm like, what color is that? And it just. It was it was interesting. So all I thought was a spectrum of light, you know. So I'm wearing this dress and then I go in and I called Archangel Michael and Archangel Gabriel to come to me and they came to me and then um, we had a little talk and I told them, you know what? I got to I got to have something right now. But the understanding is is hey, this is as of this moment in time. If if the 20% bad guys that are trying to stop this are succeed in something tomorrow, then this moves. Okay. But they are still working very hard to get this whole thing done. Um, and I'm talking about the RV. Yes. I'm talking about the RV because this is how we win. Okay. That's why it's important. Everything else is, is intertwined with that. Um, Gabriel, I said, he said, so he kind of stared at me like, <laughs> okay, I'll play ball. And he said, um, the rate will change on seven, seven, 23. And I assume that's Iraq. The notifications will come out on seven, 11 and seven, 12. That is the plan as of this moment in time. Um, as we look ahead on the timeline, everything, nothing throws a wrench in anything. That's where we're at. The other major countries that people have currencies for will change uh, their rates shortly after the initial rate change. And I believe that's Iraq. And then there was um, information and, and kind of a transfer of knowledge to enjoy the holiday weekend and just relax. I think that was probably for me. But I'm passing it on to you. <laughs> okay, to relax and enjoy the holiday weekend. Okay. So. Go on your boat, drink a little bit, have some fun, right? I may drink. I may drink. You may drink this time. <laughs> okay. So, um, that fits with a lot of other people's timelines. There are people, you know, like Mark has been saying that, that they fi figured that, you know, things would post on the 3rd of, of July, which is when the Forex, I think, goes live for that week. That there's, there's stuff I'm hearing in the background, calls I'm listening into, that are saying that they absolutely have to make this commitment by, uh, by, the, by July 1st. It's, it's made. Because if they don't do it then, they can't do it for a long time. So they're going to make that commitment. It's going to come live, um, maybe on the Forex, but it's not going to be officially... It may take two or three days after that, which puts it, guess what? Right at the seventh. Well, before. he said the rate will change okay. on seven, seven. So okay. let's say that comes out and it's disappointing. Do not panic. It's going to go up. It's going to change. Um, and then when you go in for your appointments, you're going to be pleasantly surprised at the Gen tell from a long time ago mm -hmm. right. on what that is there. So I answered these questions today. Um, I already got the gentile about what's going on in the country. And um, talking about that, this is what it looked like when I saw the ships approaching. So if you're standing on the shore in like California and right. you look out to where the, you know, the sky meets the water, okay, or even closer. You see, like, big aircraft carrier, different ships, 
maybe every mile or half mile. I mean, just lined up. And then when I was asking after that for about a little more information about that, I believe at this point in time it is our military, mm -hmm. okay, and possibly allies um, that are creating like a border <clears throat> around the United States. And, be, and, and then he said in that Gentile, by land and by sea, which didn't make sense to me at the time because we were focused on the air and seeing things in the air and then seeing mm -hmm. things in the water by land and by sea. So we're going to see this military fence, basically, this barrier, this border, all the way around our country. Um, and we've started to get reports of sites of that. So just keep watching for that. It makes me feel safer mm -hmm. when I think about it. Yeah. And it's not really a feeling of doom, like, oh, they're coming. Because, come on, if they couldn't, well, they, they're not going to be allowed to get to our shores. Um, if it was some other country or something. But it really looks like they're either barricading bad guys in. Or protecting from those who want to get in. It's probably the first. So, um, that's what I have for today. Yeah. Good stuff. Um, I like the, um, notifications will come out 711 to 712 because 711. I didn't even look at what date that was. It was yeah. the day of the week. Uh, well, that's, I think Monday, uh, go to July. Oh, Tuesday. Yeah. Nothing happens on Monday, Tuesday and Tuesday. Wednesday. Yeah. Yeah, so Iraq rate changes on the seventh, and then Tuesday, Wednesday, the Friday. we see it. Okay. Friday, and then we see as it. of this moment in time. Just remember right. that <laughs> you're probably going to start getting intel from people on Friday the seventh that the rate has changed, and it's it's a good rate. And here's the thing: even if it's fifty cents, it's a good rate. If it's fifty cents. You know, even if it's only fifty cents on the on the dinar, just the dinar, I I can go, I can pay my house off, my new place off for that, and you know? I'm fine like, with that. You know, whatever at this point, I'm good. Yeah. yeah. So, uh, although I want more. Well, yeah. I also like that uh, we will begin. What does it say? It didn't say exchanges would begin. It said notifications will come out to us on seven eleven and seven twelve. 7-Eleven is my former wedding anniversary, so that would be a hell of a, that'd be the best thing I ever got on my anniversary, I'll tell you that. That would be great. So uh, I would be, I would be having some fun and doing a whole dance. So pretty, pretty cool. Um, so uh, anything else you want to add to this or that's just what you got? Not now? really. I had like 10 minutes to go get that this morning. Um, so I don't really have a lot more. I'll yeah. take your questions though. Okay. All right then. Um, Personal or world questions, whatever. Yeah, we have. Let's see. We have. Oh, uh, interesting I, tidbit. Doesn't yes. have anything to do with this. Yesterday, I was doing a past life reading on somebody, and I found that she had a life in Atlantis because we ran out of you know lives that relate to hers, and we just kind of started looking around. That was a modern city. From what I saw, they had, like, you walk in, like, you know how I said, well, what do they have for communication? Because there was lights, there was things flying around in the air, there was, like, all kinds of stuff. This was, like, a modern city, okay? And um, from, and then I said, what do they have for communications? And I saw, where, where you walk in, like, say you have the big sc screen TV in your living room. You would walk up the living room and just, like, call mom and you're talking to mom on the screen like this back then yeah it was not primitive yeah and you know the way Loving they got wiped from, out is yeah. um way out there from what i got <laughs> it makes me sound like a little dick but um that's when the reptilians came okay just throwing it out there that's when they came 
so I saw what looked like beams of like red laser beams coming down into the earth, going all the way down to the center, setting off all the um, active volcanoes, um, earthquakes, uh, waves, um, just total chaos, wipes out all the people. Now, all the, the animals, like there were animals, and uh, certain enough, enough animals hid and lived and ran from it, and they were able to survive. Um, then I got that the planet after that, after it calmed down, see these reptilians were here, they basically took it over. And, but they seeded the place with all the different races from other areas and that like outside of, um, this planet. And I'm like, well, that makes sense. Um, but you know, totally out there. Take it with a grain of salt. Could I could have totally made it up, but <laughs> that's what I got. And I thought it was so interesting. I was like, really? And like ran out of time, but like, um, I think it's now the ruins to find any is now at the bottom of the Mediterranean Sea. Mediterranean Sea, not Atlantic Ocean. Interesting. Interesting. Bottom of the Mediterranean Sea. So, interesting tidbit for today. But I just, I love that. I love that when stuff comes out. I'm like, wow, that's really way out there. And that totally sounds crazy, but that's awesome. I'm currently working on a Y file script for me to triangle. And when I complete that, my next assignment is Lemuria. So, what I'm going to have you do, I'm going to hire you to do a reading for me on Lemuria. Well, you better use my name then. Well, I will. But if you know, it's up to AJ what goes into the episode. I can oh, put it okay. on. Okay. I can. It is totally. It's his show. But I mean, he only uses the most he's used is probably sixty five percent of what I wrote for him. And you know, just letting you know, AJ, the show would be better if you used everything that I that I gave you, but including the hecklefish. Yeah, job. totally. But AJ knows what he's doing. Uh, he knows what he's doing. All right. Um, okay. Uh, about 500 people in the live stream on this Wednesday. Mm-hmm. They got an extra bonus. Those, you know, a lot of people just, they, they show up for the Gentel on Monday and they don't, they kind of skip over Wednesday and they skip over Friday yeah, night. You never know what I'm going to do. I could show That's up. That's right. You never know. You got to be I'm, here. Jen's unpredictable. You got to be here <laughs> because you never know when Jen is going to come with the truth and bang you right over the head with it. So, uh, thank you for being here. As always, do not forget. Do not forget that these uh, live streams are pulled almost as soon as they're completed off of uh, YouTube channels, but they could to avoid the censorship, but you can always catch them on mikebera.blogspot.com along with lots of other cool things like my appearance with Tom Reed on Fox News, uh, Douglas McGregor on the fake Russian coop. If you click on that, you can watch it on YouTube. Don't, don't worry about that warning. Or you can go directly to Rumble and you can pick things up on the Rumble channel. Open up a Rumble account, like and subscribe to Real News Live on Rumble. And you can also hit this subscribe button right here and you can subscribe for $5 a month and support the show. And I really appreciate that. We got we got uh, uh, 2,850 2, followers. Let's see, Jen, if we did five... Everybody subscribed for five dollars a month. What would that be? It'd be enough to to stop us complaining about anything. Let's see, five, two, eight. Yeah, that's that's a pretty good monthly monthly intake. Wow, I'm not even going to mention a number. You can do the math yourself. It's pretty good. Uh, so don't forget to do that. As always, <coughs> however, you can um. <clears throat> Pop over to our lovely sponsors, the CBD Gurus, the CBDGurus.com, where you can get all kinds of cool CBD products for your health. And ladies, ladies wear, sleepwear, apparel is coming to the CBD Gurus very, very soon. But in the meantime, don't forget to go to the wholesale, slide down to the Mike B Wholesale tab, type in the discount code A-L-I-E-N, no capital, no S on the end. It's just alien, A-L-I-E-N, and get this week's specials. Along with that, you'll receive over a certain amount. You receive some Vietnamese dong with select specials. You can receive Boulevard at different times. They have all the super full spectrum oils. They have this lotion. 
his hand lotion stuff, which is really good, which, by the way, I found that I had another basal cell carcinoma on my leg. I'm going to have to have that removed. So July the 12th show will probably be in the afternoon. The Wednesday show that week will be probably in the afternoon. That's well, okay. We'll be busy. I'm going to go ahead. Yeah, <laughs> right. we'll actually be busy at our exchanges. Yeah, we won't care. Yeah. I'm going to go get that scraped off. Uh, the pain cream is wonderful stuff. And the pain roll-on. I don't know if the pain roll-on is in this week's special. It's amazing. Uh, the pet oil is amazing. The Miracle Gold is good stuff, but it's, oh, wow. I, you got to, you got to, it has a strong taste, a strong flavor. That's all I got to say. But it works wonders for people with certain health issues like yours truly. So get on over to the CBD gurus, use the wholesale tab, go down, type in the discount code alien, pick up your specials, get a little currency on the side and feel better. Jen, why don't you tell us what is going on over at jenniferfala.com? Well, not a lot. I took the half to sell, a half price sale off and everything went into the toilet. So now I think I'm going to do it again. If you guys want me to do it again, comment in the chat if you do. Um, right now I've just got the, the classes on sale. Um, you, this is that's $200 off. And that's can, an amazing price that on the, on those is. classes, folks, that's, 111 for all those, that, all that information. I mean, you are getting a wealth of Jen's Absolutely. Knowledge. And that's what desperation looks like. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> so things always get slow in the summer. <laughs> With desperation. <laughs> so I think I might just put the damn half price sale on again. After we get off the show today, or when I get a chance, I got readings. Um, I'm going to do something. So look, keep an eye out for that on Telegram. Or if you're not on Telegram, just go to jenniferfala.com later on in the afternoon and see what we got. Um, I might just go through and put everything on sale. Everything looks pretty cheap to me right now. It is cheap, you know, but people are hurting and they do want these things. They do want guidance if you want healings if you want yeah. help and i'm doing as much free work as i can but i can't do it all for free yeah you gotta be I, compensated i got a, i got a house full of people over here you yeah. know and unfortunately with quite a bit of debt so um <laughs> which that's my fault that's totally my fault you know i'm pretty i'm pretty sure i spent it all come on nasara come on nasara let's get all the last stuff. three years yeah. Yeah. yeah so anyway Get on over to jenniferfullaw.com. Find something you like. Um, I'm going to go in there later on and put up some deals. But if you would like to have these classes and know how to seek your own answers, your own guidance, how to go face-to-face in meditation and talk to God, Jesus, and the angels, or go and visit your pet that has passed away or your loved one that passed away in a safe environment, it is a uh, something that you will use for the rest of your life. And so you can go and get those now. They will come to you via WeTransfer. I sent out all of them last night that had purchased, um, unless you purchased late in the day yesterday. Um, And so I kind of wait until I get a group, and then I send them all out. And you just download them. They'll go to your downloaded files in your computer, and that's where you'll find them. All All right. right. That's it. And um, as always, um, I have... (laughs) a i have a love button of sorts as well you can always contribute to the show i'd really rather just have everybody on rumble go subscribe for five bucks a month that's that would be that would be the best uh really yeah and I, I, I looked i found i had a d life it, i'm like should i i should do that yeah it's it's cheaper. i just don't know how to do it <laughs> you to just if it just if all 2840 of you would just go there and give us five bucks a month you know i would be doing really well uh cash app uh, dollar sign mbara33 or zell mbara33 at msn.com. Why don't I have a PayPal? Because I've been banned for being a patriot. So those are my um, right. And that's why everybody has to email me after purchases for me because yeah. Good Daddy Payments says that I am a like a witchcraft fortune teller and yeah. a risk. And so they banned me, which I think it's pretty much because I do the show. Yeah. It's because you do the show. All right, uh, guys, uh, we're going to go do some questions now. I think we'll start over on the Rumble side to encourage those Rumble subscriptions. We didn't get one subscription, Jen. We didn't Shut get up. one. Who was it? Last, I don't remember off the top of my head. We should but... give them some kind of gold star, like yeah. first. Well, yeah, you're right. We should. We should give them special content. Mm-hmm. Uh, okay, let's. Actually, I could show this screen. Maybe read. I don't know. Maybe they don't want us to know. Maybe they don't want us to know. No, they did. I yeah, it's cool. Um, okay. 
uh, Skylark74 says, hello. LB5955 says, the only show worth watching. Thank you, guys. Well, you're welcome. Thank Hard you. Hard Thoughts, Hi, Mike and Jen. Mad Hat 12. All the stuff you guys are talking about contain huge amounts of hydrogenated oils and coffee. Thank you. 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 Thank um robin wants to know she says my son cody has a second job interview friday will cody get the job robin wants to know if her son yes cody. okay yes uh trump's gonna be on today too yep um uh, biden is a flat out moron <laughs> yeah not a lot there absolutely true ltjr <coughs> testimony for jen's readings i did a reading with her in january one of the things she told me she didn't see me retiring until june this was not the plan but i officially retired on may 31st close enough i'm taking it thank you thank you for the i love i love testimonials to hear back what happened. um that's interesting i had another another psychic my friend denise zach who does pet stuff primarily and she's retired now or she's dropped out of it because it's too emotional for her but um, I was seeing a girl, and this this girl was was separated from her husband, and I and we were, but I she was the hottest girl in high school, and we loved each other and we're doing great. And I was like, when are you gonna when are you gonna divorce this guy? And she said, well, I have to do this right. I you know I can't I can't do this in a in a in a bad way. And I asked Denise, I said, you know, when is she gonna divorce this guy? And she goes, not until next July, which was. 14 or 15 months later. And so I broke up with her. I said, look, I'm not waiting around that long. I'm moving on with my life. And her divorce was final July 1st of the next year. So you guys, you, you got to trust these people with the powers. They know what they're doing. They know right. But then, and sometimes, you know, you get in a specific date and you say, you know, God wins August 23rd. And it's like three years later. <laughs> so yeah, but, we'll just see. but those are political events, personal events. I found. I know it's like the events there's so many there's so many free wills there's right. so many actions it's just like it's hard to yep. see down that road um it's like as of that moment in time and so so is today's gentle but i felt pretty confident about that yeah that's good that's good all right let's go to the personal messages remember guys your name your real name at least your first name and the name of the person pet or entity you are asking about necessary to help Jen connect. Kimberly Rack, Kim, I'm really sorry to hear this. Um, Ripley, her kitty, they found a mass in an x-ray. Does Ripley have All cancer? Right. Start, start the ivermectin thing again. That's why I was telling you last time. Okay. Start it again. Okay. Hope you're doing it. I think it had it last time and you got rid of it and then you stopped and then it probably came back and then okay. there was something else grew. Do it again. Back to I think that's what happened to Charlie. <clears throat> Stephen Lee, her carbs or sugar too. We we know that. We all know that. We we you, you got to cut down, but you know it's hard to do these things. I'm going to give you a personal testimony. My friend Steve Doran, one of the great guys I've ever known, one of my best friends. He didn't even tell. He's such a tough guy. He didn't even tell me, but he had spinal cancer and was in agonizing pain and was told he'd be dead in six months. That was three or four years ago. You know what he did? Cut all the sugar out of his. All the sugar and carbs pretty much out of his diet. And I did like three healings on him, but so I'm, oh, not, saying, just, I'm not saying it was me. You know. And Jen did healings on him. I mean, I mean, well, he, you know, his thing is that it's the sugar that feeds the cancer. I think so. I think it feeds a lot. Arthritis too. Right. Maybe, maybe these, yeah, arthritis. Maybe these skin cancers that I'm getting are warnings to me, Mike. You really got it. You really got to drop the Dr. Pepper. You know, I mean, you really got to. So, uh, of course, I had one this morning, but it's less than I normally have. So, anyway, um, really good advice, Stephen. Until, of course, they're able to create, they're able to get all the chemicals and additives out of a lot of these products. And then, you know, sugar in of itself is not evil or bad. It was really cane sugar and red meat that allowed the higher develop, development of higher human brain function. But... Um, so they do have positive effects. It's just, we've got to get purity in, in what we're putting in. Well, I've kind of like, if I'm going to put sugar in anything, I switch to natural sugar and not the white refined sugar. Yeah. It's the refined sugar. It's the bad stuff. Um, your body turns carbs into sugar for a reason. So you will get some, 
but when we develop these conditions um or you know some systems like mine it doesn't carbs don't like me i think that's the whole problem you know because when i go on the low carb i feel great my joints don't creak i'm not stiff i don't have indigestion i don't have the stomach problems um i lose i start dropping weight so yeah you just got to figure out what your body um needs tolerates and what it doesn't yeah all right um lisa western says also mike if my bank do, does not do exchanges will there be legitimate places to exchange i've already checked and most banks that exchange you have to have an account but that's what they say now but i think when this happens all the banks are going to say oh yeah bring us your money we'll take right, it right yeah they, i'm sure they get some kind of commission and if not there are redemption centers and that is a i think a fairly very mature system at this point where um absolutely that's going to be okay we're, we're, as they're, far they're, as where to go and when, I don't think there's, there, you're not under NDA yet. And I don't think that there's any way you're going to miss it Yeah. with this crowd. We'll figure out how to tell you. <laughs> uh, Pretty much, right. okay, we'll call this number. Seven, seven on Friday is Nancy's birthday. Well, I hope you have something to celebrate, like a rack changing their rate. And again, you're probably going to hear it all behind the scenes. Wolvie and Mark are going to come in and tell you, the racks change their rate to 381 or 575 or whatever. And then when you go set your exchange on my former anniversary, 7-Eleven, and go into your appointment, you're going to get a big surprise as to how much the rate is for you at the Redemption Center. Are you frozen? Oh, you're not frozen. I thought you were frozen. No, I'm reading something from Susan okay. Gretz. Susan, it's too early to tell. You know that. But um, <laughs> old soul on the new granddaughter. Yeah. Yeah, you're going to be um, teaching her some things. Adam Greaves, Greavesy. Good morning, Mike and Jen. How are you doing, Adam? We love you. Uh, this is a great guy. I met him. Well, first of all, he's a fan of uh, soccer, football. He lives in the Manchester area. His team is Darby County. Great, great team with a great history. Um, and his dad, Doug, is a wonderful guy. And he come, yeah, I believe I they've both to, been on Bob Brown's show on my radio station. So Whenever I come to England, I always hang out with Adam, and it's always great. Uh, Chester Packer, TD Ameritrade, closed from 7-1 to 7-5. Change to Charles Schwab. Don't uh, know how I will get screwed this time like Amazon's 20 to 1 split. Well, Chester, that it could be something to do with this development. You know, we'll see. We'll see if it has something to do with the exchange. 6,500 flights were canceled on the East Coast on Monday. Jen, does that have anything to do from Scott? Does that have anything to do with uh, military activity? Because it's starting to leak out. There are people saying there is an abnormal amount of military activity in the U.S. right now, even people in conventional. What do we have? Periodic what? Oh, there is periodic something. Keep an eye on events relating to water, trains, regional outages, shortages of goods and services. Don't talk about planes, but I, I would assume that that if there's any kind of threat that they're monitoring they would do that but didn't we have weather on monday over in that area yeah it's all well if they're shutting down air traffic it might be that they want to do air operations so that's why you would be interested. i really do think that the country is in like a warlike scenario stance right now with the mm-hmm. military on uh, alert so anything that happens they're going to just shut it down shut it down until it's clear and so i think that's best okay Oh, just let them fly you know like no <laughs> yeah yeah uh, and they might be looking for an opportunity to create some kind of 9 11 whatever your opinion is on that yeah. um scenario so they shut it down i don't know go have some coffee or something oh geez look there's a, a handful of nfl players are going to be suspended for gambling what do you think what do you expect to happen when your football league embraces gambling and puts a team in Las Vegas three or four years ago. Gee, do you think your players are going to get involved in gambling? What does scandal? it matter if they gamble? You know, listen, my because grandmother. It, you could throw a game. Mobsters could get to you and they could get you to throw a game. My grandmother is Catholic church. They'd send all the seniors out for a day and everywhere they go, casinos. Right. What the hell's wrong with that? You need if you have a problem, that's your personal problem. But, in, in, the, in the 2006 national championship game between USC and Tennessee college national championship game, the night before the game, $400 million allegedly in mob money came in suddenly on Tennessee 
to win the. I think it was Tennessee. It was the, Clemson might have been Clemson. Uh, Deshaun Watson and Clemson. And in the game, you it was a close game back and forth. USC was leading, and Reggie Bush had broken away and was running for a touchdown late in the fourth quarter, which would have been a game deciding touchdown. And he inexplicably turned around and pretended to try to lateral the ball back to another player, even though he could have run for a touchdown and it was fumbled and recovered by Clemson who went on to win the game. Reggie Bush was involved in throwing games. That's part of what got Pete Carroll out of USC is what happened there and ended up in Seattle and God, please, we wish you go back to USC at this point. Games get thrown. Gambling gets involved. Shiz happens. What did yeah. you expect to happen? This is not going to the casino gambling. This was betting on games. Yep. yep. That they got suspended for. Yeah. And the referee in the Super Bowl, the Seahawks, got stolen from them when they played the Steelers, was involved with gambling and betting on NFL games that he was officiating. That's never good. Okay. Jeff Price. Hi, Jen. All my nephew, Jen, my nephew's first born, 624 23. Yay. Owen Brooks Oldfield, they're saying something wrong with his heart. They have postponed open heart surgery till this Friday to monitor him. Do you see anything going on with little newborn Owen Brooks Oldfield? Let me look. Uh, Owen Brooks Oldfield, Jesus. There is an abnormality. It kind of looked like it was um, formed differently. It's still functioning, um, but could be a problem later. Uh, they're just going to go in and just like reshape this one little part real quick. Okay. I don't think it's a hole. Um, it will be successful. And I don't know. Will he live? I see him as a grandparent. So that, that implies we're good. Too. Don't worry too much. Get it done. See him as a grandparent. Uh, Layla G says, Jen, is the lump under my arm something serious? Thank you, Mike and Jen. A lot of times these are inflamed um, not gonads, lymph nodes, but always get it checked out. Let me look. Yes, get it checked out. I'm not going to tell you whether it's cancer or not. I'm going to tell you whether they get it checked out. But um, let me see, let me think what tell you what I think it is just to ease your mind. Um, Layla G's armpit. Can we look at that? Um, so dirty. I think everything's funny. Um, <laughs> I had like you, Dave. Running. Hey, yeah, I have this thing on my butt. I'm like, just let me stop you right there. Yeah. All right, I don't even want to. <laughs> if I had the power, do I'd not use send me pictures of your boo boos. Thank you. Um. I'm doing it. I mean, everyone All right, left on the arm. Look at this is cyst. It's, it's cyst. just your typical cyst. Um, I wouldn't worry too much about it. It's from heat. It's from clogged pores. Um, they probably will either lance it or something like that. Take a look at it. But I wouldn't have it looked at. Find Go to a dermatologist, it. although mine seems to like to cut on me quite a bit. Uh, Diana Leyland says, hi, Jen. I have pneumonia. I'm very sorry. That's a really rough thing. I had to take the week off. Will this affect my job no but send me your um today to do a healing i'm gonna forget because i'm unpacked today i'm, yeah. I'm just booked solid um scott billado says is biden close to being done yeah jen told you by the end of the summer he will be out by by summer like August. they're kind of playing around with how exactly they're going to do that what's the best way to do that um right now um but they will <clears throat> um kenneth b jen any word or thoughts on the brunson case she told you they were going to reject it they did jen tell confirm anything else it's just <sighs> more pantomime like charlie says it's 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 attempts by the people to get justice and it's showing that all these even these all these attempts by people to get justice is just not working and the military is the only way and that's all i can say as disappointing as that is uh jenny genie jenny um hi mike and jen i live in michigan what's going on with all the smoke from the fires is it really just natural wildfires from canada 
or something else we should worry about. So I'm at Canada above Michigan. Okay. Yeah, there's forest fires. This time I do think it's natural. I do think it's forest fires. Yeah, that happens. It used to happen in L.A. all the time. Uh, Victoria Kuyunga. Will my cat Tommy make a full recovery from his current health situation? Will Victoria's kitty Tommy make a full recovery? Yeah, but he may be shortly after that back in the vet. So you probably want to work with the vet to monitor the situation. I wouldn't like um, drop the ball as soon as he seems better. Jordan says, Jen, you should view the Tartarian era. You know what that is? No. There's this rumor that in the dark ages, they like removed 400 years of history. And you see all these ornate cathedrals and buildings that have this level of sophistication during a time we were supposedly didn't know how to like you know properly funnel sewage and so there's this rumor that there's this secret civilization called tartar or tartaria where um you know humankind was pretty advanced um but it was somehow removed from from history for some reason well i really need more specific like if we were looking at a certain building that would open that would get in, in, in a time period then i would go to that time period and that building and see what's going on yeah, so the reason i picked up on the atlantis stuff which i've gotten a little bit about atlantis before and it matched up with that about the lasers coming down hitting the center of the earth and stuff like that um i was tuned into her past life at that time and so i was able to see what was going on around her and I was surprised by it because I thought, oh, primitive, you know, yeah, they, you know, might have had, you know, like Egypt or something. But, it, but no, this was like, you know what it was like when you see um, a sci-fi movie in space or maybe Guardians of the Galaxy or something. They go to another planet and there's just like ships flying by all around and everything and all this stack, all kinds of modern stuff. Amazing technology. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. I, I could do that. I would just have to, like an era is a lot of information to look at. So like if somebody said, okay, this cathedral was supposed to, this is a story on this cathedral. And then I would go and get the information about that yeah. topic. Really like the cathedral of Notre Dame is almost in that category. Very. I don't, I don't like that place. It gives me the willies yep. and I don't know why. Uh, Karen says, I'm having the worst time with my teenage daughter, Claire. Is yeah. It is so bad that I'm thinking of giving her to her dad. A <laughs> what Man, is that I have her? been there. Um, well, she might be doing something like pot or something else. She might be hanging out with the wrong crowd. Um, really getting a morning after feeling... Um, hungover or whatever most of the time so take a look at what she's doing drug tester i did i don't care hey be in this <laughs> i did that with my kids and then i sweat for like like i was like oh my god don't let there be anything on there but um it's a rough time trust me especially with the girls don't give her to her dad that's gonna ruin her you're just gonna have to put down you're gonna have to do something yeah. Get into her mind. What is she not? What is she? What can't she lose? And then take it. You want to see her on the pole? <laughs> yeah, don't don't do, don't do that. All I had to do is take the phone for a certain amount of time. They went ballistic. I mean, yeah. Ruben Darren wants to know what I think about Elon Musk and Zuckerberg getting into a cage fight. Why is this? I'm not? I don't take this that seriously. I'm I don't not think sure it's happening. Really going to happen, but uh, it's kind of a good joke. We, we shall see. I mean, the only thing it might expose is that Zuckerberg's actually a robot. So, well, we might lose Elon, you know, his head gets torn off by Zuckerberg. That'd be so, <laughs> so that know, would be good you know, TV. Like, you know, he hits him in, on, you know, hits him in the mean, head yeah. and the wires pop out, start yeah. short, shorting out. That'd be good. Yeah, cool. that'd be funny. Hi, Jen. Going on vacation second week in July, says Sarah. Do you see it going okay?
Yes. I cannot ensure your safety. You're going to have to be on that one. Um, uh, I'm not saying there's any danger, but it's not responsible for me to come out and say, yeah, go ahead. You know, um, you might come back early. Gee, I wonder why I did she might come back early. Uh, Mary Gold says, Jenna, I've been reading a lot about the California coast being a bad place to be. Does Jesus and the angels have anything to say about protecting Californians from any harm? Those rumors have been out there since the 60s when they started talking about You have an arsenal all the way up and down the coast and in the air, and California is absolutely full of military. You're probably safer than anybody else. That's what I think. Okay. Greta wants to know, Shannon, we're exchanged with a girl named Suzanne last Friday night in Kentucky. Can you tell me what her problem was? Is with me? Well, first of all, you were in Kentucky, Greta. That's the biggest problem. But uh, what is... What is Suzanne's problem with Greta? Jealousy. Jealous. Plain and simple. Jealous. Okay, Jealous. let's go back over to Rumble real quick. Um, okay, I don't know your name. Kelly, I guess. My dog Jojo is in her, is in her last stages of her life, heart stuff. Will she pass easy? Kelly, yeah. I just see her going to sleep. It's the way to it's the way to go. Um, a Slav C wants. Are we going to have ten days of darkness starting July first, twenty twenty three? That's a very oddly specific question. Ten days of darkness, July first, twenty twenty three. No. No. Lemuria was real. Israel. Okay. Cool. RV in two weeks. Can you hang on for two weeks? I hope so. Yeah. Jolene Hannes wants to know if her husband's job will work out. Jolene. Yeah. It's like, uh, it's it might be like a three-month gig, and then he's on to something else. But I do think that he'll transition quickly to something else. Uh, let him try, though, because he learned something there that is beneficial. Um, Jane Mandola. Hi, Mike and Jen. I, uh, Jen and Mike. I ordered the full set of classes and meditation on Monday. Good for you. And have received the link. Thanks so much, Jen. I look forward to digging in. Am I going up? I am going up to New York tomorrow. Is all okay? Don't wait to get gas. That's all I'm getting. Don't wait to get gas. Yeah, they're like, oh, I'll make it. Don't do that. Okay. Don't do that. Uh, the pain cream is incredible, says Lisa, as well as the Miracle Gold. I just have to use a little bit several times a day because it is quite strong. Yeah, the Miracle Gold is strong. And maybe that's what I should have done is just use a little. Lori Yoder says, I purchased a cleanse from Jen, Z Jen the other day. She is the best. She Thank you, is. Lori. YouTube seems to be um, unsubscribing Marcus Toledo from some of the websites I'm subscribed to. I had to resubscribe to Mike Bear 333 just before yes. the show began today. Yeah. So. Yeah. Usually I go in to get the link to share it everywhere, and um, Mike's Three Little Bubbles is up there. It was not. Two days mm -hmm. in a row, I had to search his name, and then it popped up. I get unsubscribed to Mark Z all the time, too. Um, but I'm still subscribed. Right. It just doesn't give you the updates or the alerts. Yeah. Hi, all. Thanks for the show. Mike, the expert on Lemuria is Huna Flash. He's got a YouTube channel and website, The House of Huna. God bless. Thank you for that tip, Johan. When I start doing my research, I will definitely um, do that. Elisa also wants to know, Jen... Was the yacht ferry collision in Port Miami, Florida, an accident or a planned distraction? That was not what was reported. It almost looks like like in a movie where you like um, 
Somebody's trying to get away. Um, I screwed up. So I don't know who was on that yacht. Um, Mike Mix says, I would be willing to subscribe for five bucks a month. Go, if you go, go get a Rumble account. Subscribe for five bucks a month. We don't need anything else from you guys if you do that. Um, it's a great way to support us. Although they, they send me, a, because I have a Chinese bank, which is complicated, they have to, when I get, when I got, get, if I get paid by Rumble, it takes like a month to get the money from them. They have to send it to their headquarters in LA. I got to get another bank account from an American. Um, my feeds for your show are all messed up. I hear that, Timothy, but I'm, I'm looking now at the channels and they all seem to be streaming. They say they're all streaming. Worst case scenario, go to Twitter and watch the stream there. You know, worst case scenario. So, uh, Ron Davidoff, Gentel confirm. My son Aiden did get hired as an English teacher. Yay! Awesome. Awesome. Glad to hear it. Uh, Thanks for the update. Timothy Hanlon, Jen, will the French yacht broker be back in my life in a good way? I am in a fantastic place, so I'm not sure. Timothy Hanlon's mm. friend, yacht broker be back in his life. I hope it's a, it's a girl, guy, girl. girl. Um, can't do, can't do. You can do a lot worse than dating a French yacht broker. Let me tell you. Yeah, but it might be a couple months. Something going on, not not personally, but uh, with work. Busy. Rick Norman, I dated my high school dream girl when I was 48. Wow, over 30 years of fantasy wiped out in one day. Well, I I had the exact opposite experience. She was a more amazing person than I could have ever suspected. And if I'd only had the guts to ask her out when we were 18, she probably would have been my first wife. And uh, I probably would still be married to her. So would have been a whole different life. She's a wonderful person. Uh, Annette Prejean wants to know what's going on with her right foot. Jen. Okay. If some of you don't know what I'm doing, it's called, I'm doing, um, it's a medical intuitive. It's one of my strongest gifts. It's one of the things I'm most confident about. Um, basically I asked Jesus and he shows me like a picture in my mind of your foot. So let me do that. The tendons in your foot are tightening up. So I don't know what to call that. Um, you got to have a scene. It's it's something that's probably going to increase. Yeah. You know, the, <clears throat> the worst thing about being over 50 years old is the foot cramps at night, especially. Like, what the fuck is up with that? I don't know. Probably potassium shortage or something. Potassium probably. and you need to stay hydrated. Men especially are not hydrated enough. I, I drink a lot of water. Okay. Uh, Robert Charles Zem with the wrench. Thank you, Robert. Just do the carnivore diet and eat New York strips every day. That's the best way to do it. Although I have a little bit of problem digesting protein now without my gallbladder. But yeah, you're right. That's probably the best diet for me. Uh, most of your plate should be night meat when you eat 90%. Yeah. But, you know, I, th I think meat and potatoes, regular organically grown potatoes, is the best diet a human being can actually have. Maybe just not as much on the potato side. Like you say, 80% meat, 20% potato. Jennifer, can you tell Scott how much longer it will be for him to hear his me about his Medicare going through? That's Susan Jones. 18 days. There you go. Boom. 18 days. Sometimes, sometimes, sometimes like the answer come, right? Yeah. And then, do you feel my new granddaughter has gifts? If so, what do you feel? Like? Well, Susan. Um, oh, yeah, I you answered this. So answer. you've got an old soul there, Susan. Susan knows. Yeah. Um, But you're going to have to, when she has these experiences, um, you know this, you're going to have to treat them like, oh, well, that's normal. Look at that. Oh, that was just an angel. Oh, that was just a spirit walking through. I did that with Faith and Katie. They never lost it. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, it's it's hard to tell right now too young if she's, and it is if she chooses to keep them. So, but definitely um, a deep old soul there. Very loving, very deep, very wise um nancy's struggling to stay positive about getting a job sorry to be the dead horse keep fighting it keep fighting. 
And the RV's coming. You only got two weeks, looks like, as of right now. Can't wait for that. So well, don't stop looking. You know, a business as usual until it's not. Yeah. Um, That's right. Business as usual until it's not. I'm not seeing one right now, and that might be good news. Um, so just keep trying. Just keep, and just stay positive. Okay, Jaguars hooligan over on Rumble, uh, which, by the way, you should subscribe for $5, Jaguar. Jen, the malaria they found in mosquitoes in Florida, was this planned purposefully? There's no malaria in mosquitoes in Florida. It's bullshit. It's crap. Yeah. It's all crap. Besides, to, scare have, you, to keep you inside in the summertime. We have ivermectin and HCQ, so fuck them. Um, did I say that out loud, Jen? Did yeah, I out, out for loud? me, I'm yes, sorry. for me. So. Um, okay, Shelly Hicks. Hi, Mike and Jen. My Facebook was hacked and stolen. I had to start a new Facebook account. I sent you both friend requests, but you guys have not accepted them. That's right. Do you know how many friend requests I have over there? Um, yeah, I have a few thousand. I'll try to remember to get in there. I you? told people I'd be in the free group to free readings this last week, and then I got slammed with um the sale i did and a lot of other free stuff and i haven't been in and i feel guilty but i will i will get in there when i can probably over the holiday weekend oh and i'm not going to be here monday because the it's boat season and it's <laughs> really going to be hot the whole weekend and everybody's like mom we're going to the boat right mom you know so i will not be in on monday i'm looking for you shelly i'm not seeing you in my list resend it so it goes to the top of my list and then i accept it also i have a second facebook michael herbert barra with a different uh profile pic which i created in case i get banned on facebook again and suspended so you can you can friend up to that one too i don't I'm not on there much trouble but, you're always in huh? trouble for something oh it's because i have a big mouth <laughs> um Increase in military activity to support us or go against us? Serious question. Well, it's a good support. question. Support. Support. Definitely. I feel uh, very, Chris, very secure about this that. That's a great question. Carissa, Carissa Holcomb. Does Gabriel see me having goats in the future? <laughs> <laughs> so cute. You know what? What's with the goat questions lately, Carissa? I don't know. Baby goats are so cute, though. Two, and they're like little goats. Yeah. I kind of want to get one because I like, I think it's funny when they faint, but it's not very nice to scare them because that's when they faint. But um, yeah, they smell. Okay. Baby pygmy goats are so freaking adorable. If yeah, they are. I, I would. That size, with their little ears up instead of flopping down. I would be like, okay, I want a million of those. I want to farm I know, a they, have, of they eat all of your foolage from they the root out. They'll pull out of the root. <laughs> you'll have a, uh dirt yard there so. are um there are are go what they call goat teams here in seattle and if somebody buys a plot of land and wants them cleared they hire a goat team and goats just come in and eat yeah. everything yeah <laughs> eat everything crap it all out they till it over and yeah brand new land so when i was growing up too i remember that and they're like yep they'll clear the whole yard and, and you gotta funny. put them in their own pen Dave saw this when he was working out in ba the Bothell area, and and it's like he gets funny. They get competitive with each other over who can eat more, you know. And they just go at it. So <laughs> it's pretty hilarious. Goats are goats are great. Well, like cows and and horses, they'll they'll bite it off and and it'll just like trim the grass, right? But the goats, they'll pull it out from the root. Nancy needs a, a job to buy an airline ticket to visit me in Vegas. Well, I'm not there yet. Probably not till Labor Day. Uh, Pete Carroll helped George, helped George uh, Reggie Bush's parents buy a house. No, he didn't. Reggie got used the four hundred thousand dollars he got for throwing the Rose Bowl in two thousand six for that. So, um, Shelley also wants to know, Jen, my grandson Gabe, my grandson Gabriel, great name, good name, mom Brianna is keeping him from me. That's how I feel. Am I right? Is Gabriel's All right. this is actually a full rating? For that situation okay um let me see basically yeah 
Ruben Darren wants to know why he has trouble sleeping. Well, I don't know, Ruben Darren, but subscribe yourself some clonazepam. Take one of those at night. You'll go to sleep. You'll sleep really well. Or better yet, go to the CBD Gurus, the CBDGurus.com. And where are they? Where's my CBD Gurus? And uh, pick yourself up some of the sleep gummies. Where are the sleep gummies? They're in there somewhere. I don't know. Pick them up. Uh, yeah. Okay. One of those Just two. You wound up and you got your cycles like um, flipped somehow. Um, yeah, sleeping sleeping schedule. Right I think it's, it involves work. Ruben Darren, pick up some of these CBD Guru sleep gummies if you can get them into it. Bangladesh or India. I forget which country you're in. Is it Bangladesh? Am I am I wrong? Um damn I can't, I can't it. just flew out of my head. I had it right there. Yeah, that it's right there. So Malaysia. That's Malaysia. Right. Malaysia. Yes, some... he is a surgeon and he is amazing. Uh, one yes, time, Randy. Didn't, yes, Randy, you can go on the boat this weekend with us. Didn't Jen say Trump would return in September 2023? That timing would be about right, wouldn't it? Um, I have no idea. I say so many things. Um, morning, beautiful souls. This is NorCal Girl. A year ago, we lost our dear friend Martin suddenly. Six months later, his daughter had his first grandchild. Did Martin come back to his family through his grandson, Aaron? Iran, Aaron. Interesting question. That's a pretty quick return. No, because I see him standing next to him as a baby in the hospital. Yeah. I mean, I think I think uh, Iran was already assigned a soul probably before he was ever conceived. Yeah. Typically what we see um, in, a, in a reincarnation is usually 60 to 100 years. Um Time in heaven is much, I believe, faster than here. So because the vibration is faster or slower? Because the vibration is so much higher. No, it's slower. Time is fast here. Time is fast here. Um, I don't know. I got to look that up. I just always get confused on that. Um, but... It, you typically a, a soul takes in our time it looks like 60 to 100 years to plan a next lifetime or come back in yeah yeah it, does, it takes a long time in our time frame anyway yeah. um hi regina hi regina regina has been very kind to me lately and is offering and me to help. thank you very much and is offering to help um i may need a cat sitter um i i've got this the plan i think is to when we get possession of the place and we're ready to move is to like for me to fly down there to Vegas with the cats, get the cat set up, have a cat sitter come in, you know, and sit them for three or four days while I fly back to Seattle and then me and Dave drive down in our new car uh, to Vegas. With Barclay. I'm sure she'll help you figure that out. I, I, yeah. She's actually said she has a daughter, daughter, daughter-in-law who does uh pet sitting business. So, out great Perfect. um hi jen this is denise will my daughter-in-law mel get her dream home she found in aurora ohio if so do we get our house we found in the same city mel is it mel, mel k is it mel k is that, is stop that it sorry stop. i like mel k i haven't listened to her in a long time but no because I, I like it's the same shit over and over again stop it i think she's very intelligent um there's gonna be a colleague Revolution. Okay, so there's two questions. So, will my daughter-in-law Mel get her dream home she found in Ar no Aurora, Ohio? No. So the answer um, is no. You will not get your house in the same city. Do we get our house? Do we find a house in the same city? I'm not if, saying she doesn't get a house in that city, but it's not that one. Okay. Um, so that kind of cancels out the other question. So that's up in the air. Uh, Victoria is responding, saying that gives me more. It gives me strength to continue this path with him with more confidence. Okay, Victoria, that's good. They say the mud flood took out Tartaria. Well, we don't know. Uh, Where do they think it's located? There, are, it's all over Europe and and even in America. You know, you know. Yeah, so, I'd really have to focus on that one. It's so weird. Meditation. Like Seattle is built on top of Seattle. Really? How does that work? 
Uh, Caviar Dreams, I drug tested my kids several times. That's a really weird post, Caviar Dreams. Thank you. I forget her really. I never had to do it with Faith, but Katie's a little more brave. Okay? And I'm like, you know, I don't know what the hell's going on. Get in here and pee in this. You know? (laughs) And she did. And it was fine. So... Okay, a uh, Mike Mix says, is a great book to free to download called The One World Tartari- Tartarians by James W. Lee. Lots of pictures. Mike Mick, again, coming with the information. Um, all right, Sandra wants to know, is it safe for my husband and I to stay in the Massachusetts area in the next year or so? Well, that's really in the next year. That's too big, broad a question. Um, I can't tell you if it's safe. Yeah, go ahead. You know, I mean, I don't know where you're going to be staying. If it's a bad neighborhood, if you're going to have a car, you know. So next, I can't relate. Uh, Patrick here. I just got contacted by a recruiter, job recruiter. Do you think this opportunity will pan out for me? Will Zeke pa- or Patrick's opportunity, right, well, that, will pan out that opportunity for go anywhere? It will. Good. Good. Follow through. Uh, I saw a blue color falling object last evening in the North Texas area. Was it a meteor or more alien invasions like in Las Vegas? What do we think? Meteor or alien? I find it in the North Texas area. What's she talking about? It does look like some kind of debris. Mike, the box is blocking. Well, I can't. That's my computer box for this computer now. My prize, my pride and joy, my precious. So that's the box that came in. So that's the box that's going to get packed in when we leave. So can't change that. And yeah, it's it's blocking the advertisement for Trinity. By the way, you want a weird good science fiction novel gotten by Trinity by Dave Barra or Trinity's Children by Dave Barra or both. Uh, I believe the darkness was intended to mean internet darkness. Yes, I think most of us concur with that. Although it may be a complete wipeout of all internet records a la, what was it, the, not the blackout, but the big event in Blade Runner 2049. Um, do you take enzymes post gallbladder removal? I take super enzymes by which helps with digestion. No, I should take those. I should take those. NOW supplements, says the Zeke. Um, hi guys, I need a kidney to have a normal life. Do you see me getting one soon? Jane. Oh, Idaho. In North Idaho. Really? It looks like a year and three months. Oh. Send me your picture and your name and I'll do the monthly healings on it. Free. I know that, um, yeah, super enzymes. Right I'm now. Broke, but... <laughs> okay, thanks. I'm looking Keep at doing that. I'm looking at super enzymes by now. I will go buy that and start taking it. Maybe that will help. Um, yeah, my doctor didn't tell my doctor didn't tell me that either. Um, I'm not broke. I'm fine. i just have to. I like to have a couple months worth. Okay. Uh, yeah, yeah. Um, Glad I'm Pete not Carroll. there eating the fermented red onions and sauerkraut. Yeah. Pete Carroll wasn't expected out of USC overnight for nothing. No, he took the Seahawks job where they offered him twice his salary to come in and, and build the team. And he could see that the NCAA investigation, which was totally corrupt, was going to penalize USC. So there was no point in staying there. And they were um, they were building a fake case against him just the way they did against Donald Trump. I'm surprised with all the corruption in our government and around the world that you see, Rick, that you can't see that the NCAA is as corrupt as any other agency. So it is. Um, Mike and Dave, you will be a lot closer to Area 51 in Vegas. <laughs> yeah, I know. I um, if you stay at the if you stay at the uh, Mandalay Bay, which I haven't done since the massacre. Um, you look across the street at McCarran Airport, um, and there's the the white tailed red stripe airplanes that fly to everybody to Area 51. Yeah, they fly right out of there. So you can see them. Line. I stayed at Mandalay Bay last year, and it was awesome. 
Yeah. Uh, uh, like 13 bucks for a small soda at the pool, though. I was just so expensive. But if we're rich and when we're there, I know who cares. I went to a uh, nightclub, shall we call it, in Las Vegas, known as Sapphire. And I ordered a Bud Light. I'm sorry, but it was the only beer they had that I was, was worth drinking. And she hands it to me and she says, $19. Yeah. <laughs> and I said, I'm not leaving you a tip. <laughs> fuck, Are you fuck kidding me? Tip. Are you kidding me? Nineteen dollars? Oh my god! Okay, Jen. I think we'll check one more time over on Rumble. But uh, CBD Guru beverage is delightful. Bill Gates is messing around with mosquitoes. Okay, that's it. I think we're done. We've gotten all the questions out of the way. Really, really appreciate you guys. Hang on a second. Uh, she said, "What? Hang on." Christine, you're down for noon, noon Pacific. You said right. one, and that could be your time, yeah, but it's noon right. Pacific for me. I, I hear, I hear you, Rick. But I mean, look, here's the bottom line: they didn't want a West Coast team winning the national championship all the time, so they went after him. Same thing happened with the University of Washington when they were completely dominant in the early '90s. They they made up a bunch of fake allegations against Don James, who's probably the most honorable football coach I can ever remember, um, to keep Washington from winning the Pac-12 and being national champions all the time. Because they didn't want to, you know, the team from South Alaska being the dominant football power. It's, it's all about television. So anyway. Okay, so basically we're not going to be back or I'm not going to be back until next Wednesday. Yeah, that's right. Jen will be back on Wednesday. I will be doing the show on Friday, at least it's planned right now. Um, Monday is, when is 4th of July celebrated? It's celebrated on Tuesday, right? Well, it, yeah, so it's, it's on Tuesday, but um, everybody's off on Monday and so, it's a long four-day weekend. I will probably do some sort of update on Monday morning, just a news update, general chat um, kind of thing. And that's going to be it. And then Jen will be back on the 5th, Wednesday. So Jen, we will yeah, see. Yeah, if I have anything to throw in, I'll send it to him. Yeah. If she has something that comes up, Jen, tell her something. She'll let me yeah, know. Yeah, sure. I'll do that. I'll pass but it. Um, I don't know how early, you know, it's probably boat days. Yeah. So, so that's the story. Guys, thank you for being here. Get on over to Rumble and open up your Rumble account and set up your your bank account and just get send us five bucks a month. That's awesome. That would that's a great way to support. And the you show. split it with me. Yeah, sure. Sixty forty. Yeah, I'll split it. All right. So <laughs> if that's true, yes, we will split it. Absolutely, we'll split everybody it. go put five because, bucks in. Yeah, it, we will split it. Absolutely, fifty fifty. So. All right. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, love you guys. Thank you for being here. Love Jen. Jen, thanks for the update on the Gentel today. That was a nice surprise. And everybody have a great Tuesday, great Wednesday. Uh, wish me luck at the vet tomorrow with my little kitty and hope everybody feels well. I, I know I feel better than I felt yesterday, but still, but that ain't saying much. All right, guys, have a great one. I'll see you Friday night for the Power Trio. And I do believe we're going to have everybody Brooks, Blake, and me to look at the conventional news rather than the real news.